Ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight. Um, we're pleased to have with us Stephen Wright. Um, now, as most of you know, Stephen Wright has long hair, which is rather curly, except when you come to Brigham Young, uh, he had a baby outer coat to get it shaved. So, you will not be able to see his hair tonight, but we will be able to hear his wonderful jokes. Everyone give it up for Stephen Wright. Stephen Wright. <laughs> Just so I'd be the only one who knew. 
people come over and I say, go on and touch it. It feels real. <laughs> I enjoy going and visiting museums. Just recently I was in the Museum of Natural History. I accidentally walked into the ladies' room. I said, oops, sorry, I thought this was an exhibit. <laughs> Women that I got all mad. Women you can't live with them. Can't shoot them. I used to work in an organic health food store up in Seattle, Washington. One day a man came in, in the shop and he said, if I melt the right ice, can I swim without getting wet? <laughs> and I said, I don't know, let me ask Tony. <laughs> they had to fire me though because a few days later they caught me eating cotton candy and drinking straight Bosco on the job. <laughs> so I decided to leave the area because I didn't have any ties there anyway except for this girl I was seeing. I really wasn't into meditation and she really wasn't into being alive. <laughs> I told her I knew when I was going to die because my birth certificate has an expiration date on it. <laughs> so I packed up the only belonging I had at the time, which consisted of a Salvador Dali print of four dental hygienists trying to draw a circle on the etcher sketch. <laughs> and I started hitchhiking. Within minutes, I was picked up by one of those big trailer trucks carrying 20 cars. The guy said, I don't have a lot of room up here in the cab. Why don't you get one of the cars in the back? <laughs> It's really good to pick out people because he picked up 19 more. <laughs> we all had our own car. <laughs> and he went 90 miles an hour, we all got speeding tickets. <laughs> I had the picture taken out of, fo out of focus on my license on purpose. That way when I get pulled over, the policeman looks at it. You can go. <laughs> There's a few things you can say to the cop next time he pulls you over. License and registration, please. What's another word for the thesaurus? <laughs> License and registration, please. Permits have no peer pressure. License and registration, please. There's a fine line between fishing and standing on the shore looking like an idiot, what you say, officer? <laughs> See the policeman have a nervous breakdown. He's just trying to give him a ticket. <laughs> right now I'm having amnesia and deja vu at the same time. <laughs> A few years ago, I didn't own a car. I owned a helicopter. Didn't have anywhere to park it though. So I left it running and tied it to a lamppost. <laughs> Woke up the other morning and everything in my apartment had been stolen and replaced with an exact replica. <laughs> I called my friend and I said, hey, everything in my apartment's been stolen and replaced with an exact replica. He said, do I know you? <laughs> Received a postcard from a friend in the mail the other day. All I had was a picture of a satellite, a satellite picture of the Earth. I said, wish you were here. <laughs> Well, you can't have everything. Where would you put it? <laughs> I have several hobbies I enjoy to the fullest. I have a large sea salt collection which I keep scattered on the beach beaches of the world. <laughs> Perhaps you've seen it. <laughs> I also collect rare photographs. I have a rare photographic print of, Sal or of Houdini locking his keys in his car. <laughs> I also have an extremely rare photograph of Norman Rockwell beating up a child. <laughs> I 
Is it weird in here or is it just me? <coughs> just the other, just last week. No, that was last year. I went uh, on a skiing trip. It was an interesting skiing trip. Two weeks in England, one night in Connecticut, two weeks in England. I said, I'll take it. I hadn't been skiing in a while. When I got up on the slopes, I was on the chairlift right next to this complete stranger when he finally turned to me and said, you know, this is the first time I've been skiing in five years. I said, oh, really? Why did you take such a long time off? He said, I've been in jail. <laughs> Do you want to know why I've been in jail? I said, no, not really. <laughs> a couple minutes later, I said, okay, you better tell me why we're in jail. I pushed a complete and total stranger off a Ferris wheel. 